hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to use jspdf library inside the react.js application with the help of jspdf dash react library module here in javascript so i will be showing you how to generate this so this is the library that we will be using here so if you go to npmjs.com and search for jspdf dash react so this is the wrapper jspdf for react here so if you click on this you will see uh, the command is very simple npm i jspdf react and this is the simplest of example which is given here so all the source code regarding this application would be there inside video description i have given the full blog post link step by step all the code snippets is given so in this video i will be step by step writing this code and showing to you how to use this inside react.js so you will see here inside our uh, react.js what you need to do is that locally you can also create locally this project so i will go to the projects directory and the simple way to initialize your react.js project is through npx you should be having npx installed npx uh, space create dash react app and then the name of the app which is jspdf sample app so this is your name of the project here jspdf sample app enter and now it will download all the dependencies and it will create sample project for you inside your directory so this will take some time so you will see creating a new react app so it is installing all the npm packages which is react react tom so this will take some time the better way is to use a like uh, website here which is code sandbox.io if you don't have uh, uh, you don't have to locally make this you can just use this website create a new account and then create new sandbox here you can create react.js applications vue.js application angular as well so we will click react here so it will just instantiate a new react.js application so you will see this is all we need to do here is that instead of locally i will also show this way also so it is just downloading it so just wait so now we can install this dependency inside the search box jspdf dash react so this is a library so just click this so in the background it has successfully installed this library now what you need to do is that we need to bring this so in the documentation as it is saying here so first of all we need to bring this component library import react and then we need to import this line which is of the library so in, copy paste it here so it is importing all this from this jspdf dash react here so now we simply need to initialize this all this stuff so so just copy this and inside this paste it here and uh, now inside this this one what you need to do is that so paste this react fragment so all this example just paste it so i will explain each and every snippet of code here so in the return here simply paste it so let me just if you go to my blog post i have uh, already shown you the complete example here in the second snippet this is the example here for the functional component so you need to simply copy this and simply paste it here inside here so you can see so it is saying that uh, let me just see we are adding a image here of so you can see this is completed here so what we can do is that we can go to this directory here cd js pdf sample app and then we can uh, npm start or first of all we need to open this inside a actual code editor so this is the best way you just need to locally install this 
So you can see inside this, we will create this app.js file. So we can delete this logo. We don't need this logo. And uh, inside this, all that stuff, we need to delete it. So we can just say here, hello world. That's it. So this, in order to run this now, what we can do, we can say npm run start. So this will start our application, React.js application inside the browser. So you can see at localhost 3000, it has started this application. So it is saying hello world. So now we simply need to first of all, stop this server and install jspdf-react. So this is the library that we need to install it. So it will hardly take five to 10 seconds to install this. So on this website also works, but this library is not working. So I would much rather prefer this way, locally installing it. And I am showing you the step-by-step -step way how to do this. And once again, you need to start this application, npm run start. So once again, the application has started. So once again, what we need to do is that, let me just paste that example, which is there inside my blog post. So this is a complete example here. So simply go to my blog post and paste it inside app.js. So if you paste it, so if you, you can see compiled successfully. So if I check here inside my browser, so you will see, it will show you the preview of the PDF document here. You will see it contains uh, four pages here. So there is also an option to download this PDF file locally here. So if I just show you, this is your PDF file. You can also change the color of the text font as well. This is table as well. You can also embed table as well. So this is a complete example. The link will be there inside video description. This is a sample page. And it is, you can also embed some HTML code also inside your PDF document. So this is the step-by-step -step here. You can see that you can also add an image as well. So just put a comma and image. So for that, you need to locally install a image here. So what we can do is that we can go to my website, freemediatools.com and I can download this image, this image. If I need to embed this, save image as inside this projects directory. I have this inside my, what is the directory? JS PDF sample app. So this is a directory. So it is there inside the source folder. So we can download this image. So you will see profile.jpg is there. So we can import this image here. Or what we can do is that this is a safer op option here. We can go uh, move this image into the public folder. So just move it into the public folder of your React.js projects. So this becomes the static asset here. So we can load this easily. Uh, so in order to add an image component, it is very easy. If you go to the documentation, so you just need to Uh, in, uh, put a image component here just after the text here let me put it so this is your image so we can change the name to the image here which is profile so we need to import this so we can easily do that import profile from dot slash profile dot jpg so again let me just move this image back to here
just move this once again. And in the source here, we can just say here. profile dot jpg so just move this in inside public directory and change this to profile dot jpg so it is saying no such so if i change this to public if i once again start this Uh, I think we need to move this image to the source folder. So once again, if I just do this, and uh, let me just profile.jpg. So if I once again load this, so it is there inside the source directory. So we are, so let me delete this line because it is never used here. So. So image is not working guys so so I think you can't embed images here so but this is the text component so if I reload this you will see this preview here so you can change the color text here from green to red simply you need to change the color let me ch change to red here so you will see it will change the color to red here so you can play with these properties you can change the coordinates accordingly if you change the x and the y coordinate and also the size as well so so if you reload this you will see now once again you can save this so you can place the text at any kind of position so you just play with these properties x and the y and size you can obviously change the text as well and then we have the pages so if you want to add another page you can add this by add page so now it will add a empty page to the pdf document so it will now have five pages so if i again reload this so now this will contain six pages so first one is this second is blank because we have called this once again then we have on the next page we have table so inside this table here guys you will see this uh, source by id page and you can also attach individual styles as well by jsx property here so just make it object here like this just have the css properties which is font size center position color you can just change here and then you can attach these objects like this inside curly brackets you can attach individual styles to individual pages So this was the library guys in order to make PDF document inside uh, React.js application using JS PDF. So thanks very much for watching this video.